Trish Barrett to come up and bring greetings from the board. Today is the 30th anniversary of Community Care Port Hope Seniors Picnic. Uh, we hold it in June of each year and uh, part of the reason why we celebrate it in June is because June is Seniors Month. It's a, a provincial uh, acclamation of uh, seniors. Uh, to celebrate all the contributions that they've made um, to our community. And uh, initially the picnic was started um, by uh, Dorothy Strong, who was a founding board member. So it has evolved over time, um, you know, from holding it outdoor in the very early days to a few seniors to uh, having about 150 guests come for, um, it's a free lunch put on by a, the local advisory committee of Community Care Port Hope and organized by our chairperson, Mark Graham. So, since it's not an election year, I'm going to make it short. And number two, I just want to uh, thank everyone one more time again on behalf of Her Worship and Council. And uh, just please enjoy Port Hope and anything we can help, please let us know. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. We have exhibitors that are here um, for the health fair portion that um, range in, in all types of services for seniors from denture clinics to um, medical services to the fire department and it, they're all uh, here to uh, teach seniors about healthy lifestyle and um, services that can promote independent and safe living. And um, the the group that comes um, is really just a group that um, we advertise and, and it's open to anybody in the community who's senior or disabled. the day really is for the seniors to come out, to meet one another, to be able to socialize, to learn about what's available in their community if they haven't already taken advantage of the great programs and services. And it's an opportunity for us to um, say thanks to the seniors in our community um, for all that they've done and um, show them a little bit of uh, appreciation for um, you know, many of them have volunteered for, for their time in the community. I'm uh, speaking on behalf of Mac Patterson, who's chair of the Community Care Northumberland Board, just to uh, welcome everybody and congratulate you on your 30 years in the Port Hope community. You certainly are a uh, vibrant force in Port Hope, and uh, any support Community Care Northumberland can give the community is, uh, we are always there to help you out. Just to uh, make you aware, and I think some of you already know this, but Community Care Northumberland has uh, six offices throughout Northumberland County. So if you have friends or people you know in the other communities, they can receive uh, similar services in Coburg, Colburn, Brighton, Camelford, and Hastings. So. Um, we're all part of one agency, and in Port Hope here, I think you guys get the record for the longest community care. Or yes. Most mature, most senior, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for the invite, and enjoy the day. In the past year, we integrated hospice services into Community Care Northumberland, and um, they will be part of the programs and services that are offered across the county, but certainly in the Port Hope office, um, there is help available. So we welcome them, and we welcome every, anyone to call us if they're wondering about any bereavement services or grief support or need help with hospice. Um, they can call a community care closest in their community.